Hey YouTubers, Mike Boards with the Mike Boards channel. Thank you for watching. In the event that your furnace is blowing cold air, in this video we want to talk about the 90 second ventilation or air test that your system does before lighting the burners. Let's go take a look. Up at the thermostat now and it is now off. All right YouTubers, downstairs in the furnace room now and in most cases you have an additional power switch. Go ahead and turn that to the off position. Cut any additional power to your furnace. And let's go over to the filter. You've got the inlet chamber or duct. And it feeds through the filter and then goes into your fan motor and fan blade. And works together with the burners to produce your heat to propel it upward and out throughout your ducting of your house to heat your house. However, take a look at this arrow here. That is very important because your filter needs to be inserted in your furnace properly and in the direction of the airflow. Because if it is not, well guess what? Your furnace will not get the required ventilation that it so desperately needs. And in our case, our furnace runs a 90 second test. So for example, when the temperature on your thermostat up on the wall in your house goes below the preset setting or temperature, it sends the signal down to your furnace. Your fan motor down below turns on and it runs runs a 90 second test and during that 90 seconds it is verifying that it has proper ventilation to your system. If it does not, guess what? Your furnace and burners will not ever turn on and your igniter will not ignite your burners to produce that heat and you'll never get warm air out of your vents. So back to the actual filter. If you verify that, let's go ahead and take the filter out and I want to show you two things. This is an extremely dirty filter but before we get to that, look at how it's designed. It basically has a cage. This is cardboard. However, it's acting as a barrier to not allow the filter on this portion to be sucked outward. And that is by design. See the arrow? It is pointing toward this little barrier grill. However, in the event that you accidentally turn this around and you inserted it with the arrow facing the opposite direction, well, guess what? The power of your fan motor and the suction power will pull this entire filter outward and it'll have a big bulge and when it does that guess what that's not supposed to happen and you will run into your furnace not working properly so make sure your filter is inserted properly the next thing i want to talk about obviously this filter is extremely dirty this is the first time we are replacing this filter we just purchased this house and I probably can't tell you if this was replaced within the last six months. Hopefully, but maybe not. And what we did was we went out and purchased a brand new filter. And comparing the two, can you tell which one's the old, which one's the new? Yes. There's that little barrier I was talking about. And we'll just flip it up into the slot that it inserts into the furnace. And it should go in extremely smoothly. Alright YouTubers, I'm back downstairs now and a few things are going to happen when I turn this switch to the on position. Your fan blade will begin to spin at a very high pace and your fan motor or blower motor will go into its 90 second test. And if the ventilation is properly detected, your igniter will get power and turn on. And inside here is your burner tubes and way back in there is your actual tab that is your igniter. So here it comes. You can hear the power and there's your 90 second test of your blower and you just patiently wait because it, it may not take 90 seconds, it may take 20 seconds. However, it's extremely important that your system has proper ventilation to properly run and once it detects it has proper ventilation, everything will turn on. And the fan blade is now running, let's go down below and you are going to see your igniter light up. There it is. From here, your tubes will ignite. Check that out. And at that point, everything is up and running back to its normal state. Hopefully this helps YouTubers. Hey, do us a favor, below the video, you will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely go to your settings, turn on your YouTube notification bell. Once you do that, every video that we upload, you will be notified, you will be able to stay up to date with us, and that will be awesome. Thanks again for watching, and what I'll do next is re-secure 
the cover.